before a young person, and this is like to the 17, 18, 19, 20, or even above year olds out there who, who, who seem to want to give their heart to another human being, and they want to fall in love with another human being, but they haven't fallen in love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yet, and they, don't, they haven't truly found themselves yet. What advice, key advice could you give to people like that? Should they get married without finding themselves? What kind of problems can they find themselves in? You know, the difficulty we face now is you have 15 years, 15 year olds and 16 year olds who tell you, I need my nikah done. I need my nikah done. And you say, but why? Because I don't want to commit haram. Come on, come on. You don't want to commit haram. So now you want to get your nikah done. So be strong, be patient, you know, stay away from sin because like you say now, people need to find themselves and by finding themselves, they will definitely find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I always say, you will not even know that your choice of a spouse shapes your future until you get married in a lot of cases. Your choice of a spouse actually determines a lot of your future. So choose well. And if you don't know how to, don't choose with your Hormones. I promise you. That's what people do. They just choose with their hormones. It's a fact. It might have sounded a bit, you know, direct, but it's a fact. People choose with their emotions sometimes. But wait, go back to the hadith. Go back to the Prophet, peace be upon him. And I've always said the two most powerful organs, the heart and the mind, don't ever give anyone the control of those two because they will hurt you. They will hurt you. You give that to Allah and you give it to anyone after that within what Allah has ordained. But I, we've seen thousands of people get abused and used because they've given their heart and their mind in someone else's hand. That's it. They've given it away. Give it in the hands of Allah, your heart and mind and whoever else you're going to love. You can love them more than anything. But if Allah has allowed it and it's ordained, and for this reason, we say, be very careful, my beloved brothers, my sisters, my children, sons and daughters. You know, we sometimes are not even the people whom we should be. For those whom we would like to marry, let me word it again in a different way. We are not whom the person who we want to marry would even want to marry. Do you understand that? The qualities I have, do you really think the guy I want to marry is looking for those qualities? No way. Or the girl who I want to marry is looking for those qualities? So I haven't even built my qualities to the point where the person I would like to marry would even be interested in. Would even be, if you get what I'm saying. And, and I want to get married and that's it. And that's it. There, there goes. So learn to develop yourself. Learn to get closer to Allah. Look at people. Look at others who are married. Talk to them. See what it's all about. And this is why I say, my brothers and sisters, do you know when you go to school and you're growing, you're still finding yourself. You're still setting your foot on the ground. Sometimes we make big mistakes as we're growing up. Allah will forgive you. But the people who know about it will not forgive you. Allah will forgive you for the mistakes you've made. But unfortunately, the people, even your best friends, will be the biggest sellouts. Because they are not Ghafoorur Rahim. Allah is.